Hold on. I'm getting a word from God. Okay. I think you guys tell me somebody's trying to start a business right now. Somebody's trying to get their life together right now. And God is telling me that, that you're going to be able to do it. Everything's going to turn out all right. And you're going to become rich one day. Hold on. He's telling me something else. He's telling me that God doesn't speak like this. That's what he's telling me. That God speaks through the word. And the word is the Bible. The Holy Bible. Jeremiah 23, 16. This is what the Lord Almighty says. Do not listen to what prophets are prophesying to you. They will fill you with false hopes. They speak visions from their own minds, not from the mouth of the Lord. Jeremiah 14, 14. Then the Lord said to me, the prophets are prophesying lies in my name. I have not sent them or appointed them or spoken to them. They are prophesying you false visions, divinations, idolatries, and delusions of their own mind. A false prophet can easily be noticed and called out, and we are called to call out false prophets. A false prophet is somebody who tells you something that doesn't come true. And I can tell you, people like Joel Osteen, T.D. Jakes, anybody that tells you that you have a blessing around the corner or tell you that, that um, things are, things are going to be all right, they've lied to somebody. Because everybody in these large crowds that they've spoken to, you can't tell me that every single one of these persons have, have became rich or, 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 or got over the situation. As a matter of fact, there's only one prophecy in the Bible that... Jesus gives is only one and that will go for everybody and that's that everybody will have trials in their life even if that trial is the coming of your death that is the only prophecy that is true for everybody so anybody telling you that you have a blessing around the corner or or things are about to be all right that's not a prophecy from God anybody telling you some kind of specific thing about something's going to happen for you, that is not from God nobody is actually hearing from God this is false prophecy. The only way you hear from God is reading it in the word. I just give you, I've given you scriptures. Now, people that are doing this are going to be held accountable. But also, those who follow these people are also going to be held accountable. Because you have to realize God's word has been given to you in the word. If this isn't enough for you, then that means you're looking for other help. You're going to sorcerers. These people are not of God. Anybody that, that tries to tell you that they know what's going to happen in the future, they do not know what's going to happen in the future. I can promise you that. The, the the people, the prophets that spoke future prophecy and were in the Old Testament. This was all setting up for the coming of Jesus. The same with the same with these huge miracles like the parting of the Red Sea. These were part of the Bible. These were the part of the Old and New Testament to set up for Jesus. If these kind of miracles were still going on today, we'd have no reason to even look at the Bible or read the Bible. We'd have no reason to learn from the from the prophets of, of the Old and New Testament if people still had these kind of prophecies or still were doing these kind of signs. We would just go ahead and learn from them and that would make the Bible obsolete. So we have to understand it's very serious when people play with God's name like this. Anybody telling you what's going to happen in the future is lying to you. They do not know what's going to happen in the future. They don't know what's going to happen in, the, in their own future. The only futuristic um, thing that we are, we're allowed to tell people is that trials are coming, as Jesus said. And we're also allowed to tell them the second coming of Jesus. That is in the Bible. Anything that's not in that word, don't believe it. Anybody telling you that, that, that uh, speaking tongues is part of biblical canon is not true. The Bible tells us that there must be an interpreter around if you're speaking tongues. Tongues are an actual language to help someone that does not know the gospel. So, uh, in other words, if somebody's around me that doesn't speak English and I, and, I, and I want to spread the gospel to them, but I couldn't, God can um, fill you with his spirit and have you speak in that language to to spread the gospel. 
I've never seen this happen, but if the Bible says it's possible, I believe it's possible. But speaking gibberish that no one can understand has nothing to do with God, has nothing to do with the spreading of the gospel, and it helps nobody. So remember, anybody telling you about the future is not hearing from God. They've gotten it from their own mind. Once again, I bring up Jeremiah 23, 16. This is what the Lord Almighty says. Do not listen to what prophets are prophesying to you. They will fill you with false hopes. They speak visions from their own minds, not from the mouth of the Lord. This is plain and simple, guys. Now, if we're in our word and we're reading our word, then we will not be deceived by these false prophets. But there's so many people out here today that are following these false prophets. Do not let the numbers fool you. Do not let the, the, um, the material aspects of someone's life make you think that they're from God. The devil pays his people very well. So be careful. Remember, also again, Jeremiah 14, 14. Then the Lord said to me, the prophets are prophesying lies in my name. I have not sent them or appointed them or spoken to them. They are prophesying to you false visions, divinations, idolatries, and the delusions of their own minds. This is coming from them. It's not from God. Also, Matthew 16, 11, 12. How is it you don't understand that I was not talking to you about bread? But be on your guard against the yeast of the Pharisees and Sadducees. Then they understood that he was not telling them to guard against the yeast used in bread, but against the teaching of the Pharisees and Sadducees. You see, the Pharisees, the Sadducees, these people were doing the same thing. These people were people that were well off, and they had and they tried to make it look like they had some kind of special um, revelation from God. God's revelation has been given to us through the Scripture. There's no way around this. Acts 20, 28 through 30. Keep watch over yourselves and all the flock of which the Holy Spirit has made you overseers. Be shepherds of the church of God, which he brought, he bought with his own blood. I know that after I leave, savage wolves will come among you and will not spare the flock. Even from your own number, men will arise and distort the truth in order to draw away disciples after them. These type of things have been happening since the beginning of time. You have people that will even try to, to come and take the elect, the believers that really truly believe in God. And we will be held accountable if we're falling after them because that's like saying that, God, your word isn't enough. I need to go to man and get and get and get his word because I'm not pleased with your word. I'm not pleased with the with the provisions that you give me. So I need to go to man and find out how I can get more. And God hasn't spoken this. This is from their own minds. The scriptures all day on this type of thing. Matthew 7, 15 through 20. Watch out for false prophets. They come to you in sheep's clothing, but inly are ferocious wolves. By their fruit, you will recognize them. Do not pick grapes from thorn bushes or figs from thistles. Likewise, every good tree bears good fruit, but bad trees bear bad fruit. A good tree cannot bear bad fruit, and a bad tree cannot bear good fruit. Every tree that does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire. Thus, by their fruit, you will recognize them. Understand what fruit is. Fruit is the sound mind. Fruit is the truth of the gospel. Having it, knowing it, studying it. Fruit is self-control. Fruit is joy. Fruit is love for God. You cannot love God. You cannot have fear for God and manipulate his word. You cannot love God and fear God and lie in his name and deceive people. This is what bad fruit is. People that make up things in their own mind and say it's from God. That is what bad fruit is. Good fruit is truth. Something to think about.